Hi, my name is Lisa Bono, and I'm the Graduate Program Director in Dental Hygiene at Idaho State University. I'm Cindy Harmon, and I'm a graduate student for dental hygiene at Idaho State University. And this is Decoding Degrees. Cindy, can I get a master's in dental hygiene? You certainly can. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> so. I'm an old lady and I have, I raised five children and I went back to school and it's been fun, it's been an adventure. So you were not alone in that because when I started my master's degree, I thought I was going to be the oldest person in my class and I was actually in my 40s and I was surprised to find out that there were others in my class that were around that age. So anyone can come back. We're actually seeing two groups come into the master's program right now in dental hygiene. And that is a younger population that's been out in private practice for about three to five years that decide they wanna do something different with their career. And so they're looking for a way to keep practicing dental hygiene and to share their knowledge. And so they do come into our master's program. And then the second group are more seasoned hygienists like me. And me. <laughs> <laughs> that come back after we've been in private practice for 12 to 15, 20 years. And we also decided that we wanted to be able to share our skill sets and help others. Perfect. What is a master's of dental hygiene salary? That is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> Education does not pay as much as private practice. However, there are trade-offs. Under an education salary, you have opportunities for 401k, you have health insurance benefits, but most importantly, you have the opportunity to work with students. I guess it all depends on where you want to go with it too. I think there's a community side of the master's degree. You can work in, for a city or a state in public health. So I, I guess the, the salary, yeah, the yeah. research there too. The salary depends on where you take it. Yeah, you could work for a company and research products for them. Um, that would definitely be a you know, very lucrative income on that end. So again, like Cindy said, it just depends on where you want to go with it. Okay, how long does it take to get a master's degree in dental hygiene? I know, <laughs> as long as you want it to. <laughs> That's the beauty of the dental hygiene program at Idaho State University is it's all online. So you can choose how oft, how many classes you want to take each semester and how far and quick you want to push it. I'm in my fourth semester. I'm about halfway done. I've taken one to two classes a semester and I've really enjoyed it. And she's done this while working full time. So our program is designed for working professionals and it's designed for um, people that have families. And so you can customize this. This is one of the things that we talk about with our program is that it is extremely flexible. So you can take a class at a time if you'd like. You can take two classes at a time. You can take three classes at a time. It's however you want to customize that experience. One more. <laughs> what can you do with a master's degree in dental hygiene? There are a lot of avenues that you can pursue with a master's degree in dental hygiene. You can be a research leader for a corporation uh, like Oral-B or uh, Philips, Sonicare. There's all kinds of companies out there. You can become an educator and teach. Uh, you can branch out into public health. You could branch out into long-term care. Uh, we, one of our graduates currently works at the NIH as a researcher. Uh, we have other graduates who are now serving as department chairs, they're program directors, they're working in leadership positions for CODA, they're working for the American Dental Hygienist Association in a leadership position, and our program really does prepare our graduates to assume administrative roles, along with being educators and setting up programs in different areas of expertise. What courses offered in Dental Hygiene Master Program? Well, lots of them. <clears throat> Last semester, in the spring, I took a leadership course. And in that course, I got to develop my own leadership philosophy. I looked at different values that I thought was important as being a leader. Um, and I was able to write and develop my own personal compass and how I want to lead in my career. Um, I also took an educational methodology course. That one was excellent. It taught me how to write a lesson plan, how to write objectives, 
and prepared me by, I actually gave a presentation to a classroom with a PowerPoint and everything. And at the end, I wrote another teacher philosophy where I got to understand how I want to be a teacher and how I want to portray myself. I loved that class. Can I tell them about more? Yes. Okay. The summer <laughs> class that I took this this year was all about special needs. And so I looked into different special needs of all different populations and understand how me as a dental hygienist affect their needs and, and can go. Um, so I got to look at that. It's wonderful because in this course, I got to write research and write a paper that should be published pretty soon. Yep. I'm very excited about that. Submitted into Dimensions of Dental Hygiene. Yes. One of the things in our program that we do, because our program is so intimate, the students have access to the instructors and the program director. I meet with students on weekends. I meet with them after work, before work, whatever works with their schedule. But they learn how to write in each one of these courses as they do these projects. They're doing postings and they're using evidence-based research. So by the time they reach thesis, they're very accomplished writers. And it it's really makes the process so much easier. And we like to prepare our students for that process. So don't be afraid if it says thesis. It's not that bad. You have a committee with you. <laughs> we don't leave you alone. Oh, no. Oh, this is a good one for me. So. What is the average tuition for the master's degree program? Our average tuition right now is running around $5,000 a semester. Now that varies depending on if you're taking nine credits a semester, that's considered full time, then there's an additional $1,000 fee for the grad school with that. Um, but generally, grad tuition right now is around $5,000 a semester, and then there's fees for um, professional fees for like didactic courses and thesis that run around $185 per credit. So it's still really affordable. What are the pros and cons of dental hygiene grad school? Can I go? Yes. Can I give the pros? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I get to rub shoulders with some of the most recognized dental mm. hygienists in the country. Um, it's fun when I do my research papers and I come across articles where my colleagues are the people in doing the research and so that's really fun. Um, so that is a pro that I'm rubbing noses with really smart and intelligent teachers. I love that. I'm learning from the best. Um, the other pro is that I can do it at my own pace and that I can ha actually have a family and a career all at the same time. I have lots of pros, of oh. course. <laughs> uh, like she was saying, um, our graduates do get to rub shoulders with some of the well-known figures in dental hygiene. Joanne Gorenulin was the program director before me. She is famous in the dental hygiene world. Our students get to meet her. And she's very active, actually, as one of our Merita faculty and helping them on thesis. And so we're very excited that way. Uh, one of the things that we really try to do as faculty is that we try to involve our students in opportunities to do scholarship. So if we're presenting a workshop, we'll invite our grad students in on that workshop and have them present nationally, internationally. If they're working on a research project, we have them come in on the research and learn how to do that. And then they have a publication and they get known out in the dental hygiene world. And so that is definitely a pro. Can you think of any cons? Um. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's online, so you can be online. anywhere in the United States mm -hmm. and take it. You don't have to relocate to the Pocatello campus, um, and it's in-state tuition, so you're not charged out-of-state tuition, which is great. I know when I graduated, my daughter actually posted on Instagram, and she goes, "Today, my mom graduated, and she goes, if she can get her master's degree, I can get mine." Did not know that my children were watching me that close and so you never know who you will impact on this journey. What's the day in the life of a dental hygiene grad student? Oh, okay. okay. Well, I get up early and I read my posts. <laughs> I might read a little bit too so I can, um, we have forums and so students will post posts in the forums and then I comment on them. So a lot of times I like to back up my comments with evidence-based research. So I'll research and then um, I'll make a post. There are lots of reading assignments. There's a lot of writing. There's a lot of writing, but that's it's okay. It's, it's really good <laughs> and they are great. I've had writing lessons where I've been called in and they've said, why don't we just change it this way? So they're there to support you and help you and, and I love that part. 
All right. This one's me, right? No, this, yeah, you're holding it. It's you. No, it's mine. Okay, here we go. Is there admission criteria for the master's in dental hygiene? So the admissions criteria is a bachelor's degree. It can be a bachelor's of arts, bachelor's of science, um, a dental hygiene. You just need to have a dental hygiene license from a CODA accredited institution, which is the Commission on Dental Accreditation. And two letters of recommendation, very easy to do. And voila, then it comes into the system, shows up on my desk. And of course, I've already met with you before that time. And so I just push accept and you're in. Do you remember okay. anything from when you went through it? I or? was so glad I didn't have to take the GRE. Yeah. I, I had been out 26 years. That, that really frightened me. Is there financial aid for dental hygiene master's students? Yes, go to the graduate website and look. They have a bunch of boss, uh, bosses, Idaho State University's scholarship system. You can look in there to see if there's any that you qualify for. I also tell students to go to the American Dental Hygienist Association because they will offer scholarships as well for graduate students and the American Dental Education Association also has scholarships for graduate students. Oops. I have to do this one backwards. There we go. <laughs> Are there extracurricular activities for dental hygiene graduate students? The only thing that I could think of that would be like an extracurricular activity would probably be like your practicum, where you're actually doing hands-on, you're out working at a community college or a university setting um, and things like that. Um, one of the things though is our students form this online community and they get to know people from all over the United States and they become best friends. That's so great. I One of my best friends is from Michigan that's in the course and we talk all the time. And I really enjoy listening to different perspectives because dental hygiene is from different parts of the country. They can come at it in a different way. And I like how she does things and she likes how I do things and we can kind of form that bond of friendship also in a professional way. My turn. Ah. <laughs> hey, why pursue a career in dental hygiene? Well, because we really enjoy what we do, don't we? Um, I worked for 26 years in private practice and I loved every minute of it. I miss my patients, I miss the team I worked with, but now I can do something more. Dental hygiene has a lot of avenues for our future. So you can work on the private practice side, you can work in home health, you can work in so many different avenues. And then when you wanna come back and you wanna expand your education, you can, and there's all, also very different avenues from that we can take it forward. Now I get to be in education and I get to work with students, bright students, and I love it because every day that they have a success, I feel like I have a success. It's very rewarding. I would have to say the students is the rewarding part. I love I love the undergrad students when I worked with them and I love the master's students when I work with them. Uh, they are my heart and soul and I love to see them accomplish things in their professional career and I love to be along that journey to be there to kind of help and put rungs on their ladder, on their professional ladders as they progress and so it really is a labor of love and I, I think I have one of the best jobs in the university <laughs> quite honestly because of that. And then the other thing I would say is why pursue the career because your education is something that no one can take away from you and you never know what life is going to throw at you. There, there's going to be things that will happen and but you have that degree, you have that education and it can't be taken away. You're investing in yourself. Why ISU Dental Hygiene Program? Well, it's pretty much the best. <laughs> I'm biased. Yeah. <laughs> Go Bengals. <laughs> no, ISU is very supportive. They've got just the best support of administration all the way from the top, all the way down. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we are biased, aren't we? Yeah, I'm extremely biased. All the way <laughs> no, I just, like um, Cindy was saying, we do have a lot of support at our university for our programs and resources available to us to help our programs better, to make our students better. Um, it really is a family experience when you come to Idaho State University and you become part of our Master's in Dental Hygiene program. You are family. You're part of the Bengal family and you're part of the Dental Hygiene family and you're part of my family. All right, we'd like to thank you for watching.
And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.